back to part three of this week's series. Uh, what are we naming this series? It's a oh, hype, hype oh. week. Hype week. I don't part get hype. I stay hype. <laughs> week. Hype week. Uh, where we're talking Ryu. about all the games that Wait. are shut the hell up. Ro Ro <laughs> Ro 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 <laughs> Well, we're talking about all the games that are coming out, or or the, the the big titles that are coming out in the next month or so, and and we're we're giving you our opinions on whether or not they're gonna be uh, all about the hype or not worth the hype. Um, Ancient Bison. Shut the fuck up, Pete. Jesus. I'm going to stab you repeatedly. <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> 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 To my far left, I have the biggest Zelda fan in the world. If you don't believe me, check his right arm. He has a tattoo of the Triforce. It's Mr. Jeremy Bird. What's up, guys? Biggest Zelda fan in the world coming at you once again. And to my direct left, I have Pete Anderson. The biggest jackass in the world. <laughs> I can't wait for Street Fighter V to play as Pete Anderson. You're great. <laughs> Ryu. Shh. <laughs> And I'm Nicholas De Jesus, and I have the most fabulous ponytail in Nick the Cali! Place. You're welcome. What? What? Is it? What? What? Nick G Cali. It's a new character. From God Lock. bless you. It's, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it's a new character from Street Fighter Five. He has the best ponytail in the business. <laughs> it's fabulous. There you go. Yep. How's it going tonight, everybody? <laughs> I have the most best fabulous ponytail. What? It's, no, he just screamed like fucking Hachu! <laughs> Bless you! Achoo! <laughs> you're like, you're, you're listing off fucking like characters. He's lifting off moves. I don't even know what the fuck is going no, on. No, the Cali's character from Street Fighter 5. No, Hachu, Hadouken. That was a joke. Oh, I missed that one. Keep Wait. up, you fuckers. <laughs> Wait, a lot of people are sneezing right now. I don't know what's going on. I had a bad day at work. I don't think I can keep going on. Sure you can! <laughs> Let's, let's, let's take that away from the first time I opened it. away from the white people. <laughs> You're not supposed to play with nice people. What's the matter with you? It's a Puerto Rican club, all right? Let's keep it that way. I am I'm part Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican motherfucker, so part, you're in the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, I'm in part Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, what part? The part you left outside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made it funny. <laughs> He's got jokes. He's got jokes. <laughs> Guile. <laughs> I'm going to RKO you through this fucking table, I swear. <laughs> You have no idea what we're talking about. No, Wednesday's no, episode. No. Check it out. <sighs> please, please talk. Please check out Wednesday's episode. How was the the let's play? Of. Of Metal Gear Solid you had yesterday. Ah, you want to know? You want to know? I do want to know. Watch the video on it. You I don't need to watch the video. All right. <laughs> he does it actually. I, I played do. the game. <laughs> you played the game. Well, you just want to know my reaction. Yeah. Not bad. All right. So far, what I'm playing is not bad. Um, Metal Gear, you could tell, especially in the beginning. Fucking Metal Gear. But um, I'm excited. The only thing I'm worried about, the only thing, is you know me, I like to enjoy my games, play my games. Metal Gear is going to take me some time. <laughs> and Unravel is just a mere 11 days away. I can't see from, your, can your pre-order. From <laughs> us recording this, it's a mere 11 days I can, away. I can't see your pre-order, buddy boy. I have right. connections. And I'm very excited for Unravel. And I saw a new trailer with this little grandma who's knitting, and it was just absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait. I play Pokemon, and I've played more manly games than you. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Expect the live stream. Expect me to just play the whole fucking game. Just. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Evil Ryu. <laughs> Here's a thought. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> GameStop, if you want to keep gamers coming to your stores, you... Actually, you probably have a good idea in what they're doing. Uh, they are working with Crystal Dynamics, I believe it is. Insomniac. Insomniac, I'm yep. sorry. They're working with Insomniac to produce a, I guess, GameStop exclusive. Um, huh. They're publishing whatever it is that Insomniac is building. Into the Deep. Uh, right? Into the... No, Sound. Something with Sound. Sound of the Deep. Something with Sound. Talk. Sound, sound of Talk. the Deep. Um, I think they're actually on the right track, right? So... The only thing I have to say about it, though, is maybe push for something bigger uh, than a side-scroller. Um, I don't know if a side-scroller is really going to get you in the game publishing business. It's just going to get you in the indie business. Hmm. And being that there may come a time where GameStop, in terms of selling you a physical disc, is obsolete. Song of the Deep. Song of the Deep. Um, where selling you a physical disc is obsolete, I think uh, that they have the right idea, 
but they might have to reconsider how they approach it in terms of publishing a game. That's 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 my thought. I mean, what do what do you guys think of this this new venture that GameStop seems to be? Is it just one exclusive game, or are they going to start doing more than that? Well, as, as we know right now, it's, and they 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 had the deal with Insomniac for this one game. I, I coming the, out the, this summer, it sounds like. Yes. From what I'm hearing, I think it's just it's a it's a t- <laughs> pardon the pun to test the water to see if it's gonna like if it's gonna be a good game or if like they can actually do more than just this one. See, but what about it in the, in the context of the industry, right? You have you have a lot of people that are saying that the NX is not going to have a, a optical disc. Um, you have a lot of people that, that are saying that Microsoft and Sony are waiting for the NX to do that to see how it operates yeah. in, in the market the way it stands now, and they may actually follow suit if NX is able to, su- to succeed with that. So they may not have optical discs or any kind of media that you buy from a store. It might be all downloads. Um, if that's the way that the industry shifts, then what is GameStop selling you at that point? They're selling you codes. That's all they're going to... They can't, because there's no storefront. What oh, you, oh, you, oh, Right? Then basically you're just going to have to get all your shit off the internet. Off of the internet, and that's the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Live, and Nintendo... eShop. 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 So GameStop is on the verge of getting phased out. Now, I think this is a great step because they've already have a relationship with most of the developers out there, mm-hmm. right? Your exclusives are GameStop exclusives, which means that they've already commissioned these developers to make stuff specific for GameStop. So they already have a relationship with these companies. Um, publishing games might be the next step, but how are they going to stay relevant? Uh, I think it's a stupid idea, but go ahead, Pete. Um... Ryu Jury, uh, cool. <laughs> Zangief. I'm going to RKU you right through the fucking game, um, I swear. Ken. Yeah. Round two, fight. Okay, let me ask you this then. So, with that whole thing, say they do go with the whole, like, route of, like, just digital. No more hard disks or optical disks or whatever. Fuck, you had to distract me because I lost my point. You fucking asshole. Let me give, while you think about it, let me give you my real answer. Oh. Again, you know. Um, <laughs> I think it's a step forward for them. They know Mario. Her. Yes. Sonic. Okay. You're not naming the same Simon person. Simon Belmont. Ness. Okay, I will continue talking. Hello, ladies Nathan and gentlemen. Nathan Drake. Anyway. King DDD. Goddamn great character. Um, Leroy Jenkins. That is really John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Game starters, uh, Game Spot, and stop. John Stamos. <laughs> what? John Stamos. There you go. Bob Saget. <laughs> uh, sm- Snow. Co- okay. So let's Matt, Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt <laughs> Damon. I just think of that Team America. Thing. That's exactly yeah. where I am. Dicks can't fuck. <laughs> Dicks fuck assholes. But an asshole it- can't fuck a butt. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> gonna, woo. Let's bring it back. So, talking about. Street Fighter 4. <laughs> no, that's way back. Five. Five. Um, okay. They have to survive. And in order to survive, they have to start planning. And getting in bed with Insomniac, which is a great developer, uh, Ratchet and Clank Resistance, great developer, to get in bed with, for them to say, here's a game that nobody's really looking at, and, it, and GameStop being like, yes, we'll help you publish this, we'll have... Because it will be for GameStop only. You're not going to see it at Best Buy. You won't see it anywhere else but them. So seeing this is their little toe in the water. If it works, great. Maybe GameStop has a future. If it doesn't work, then I see slowly in the years to come, we're going to see the rise of the PSN network. You're going to see the rise of Xbox One. You're going to see the rise of eShop. You're going to see the rise of Ryu Hayabusa. No, no. <laughs> Wrong franchise. That's Ninja Gaiden. No. God, excuse me. Well, technically, that's Dead or Alive first, then Ninja Gaiden. No way. Yeah, Ryu Hayabusa's from Dead or Alive, dude. No, he's from Ninja Gaiden, which was on the NES. Yeah, yeah, you always. Oh, one. yeah, that's right. You always right. this one. Ninja- yes! I proved the red for once! <laughs> it's yes! Isn't it a greatest feeling? It's fucking right? awesome! <laughs> yes, you're right. It's like right. the coming of Jesus. Oh. Um, Alright, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, Is this what it feels like to be you? Oh, I could I could play this if you'd like. <laughs> I, could, I could go with this. No, okay, um, here's what I was gonna ask before. Um, how do you feel about them like cutting out the middleman? Like, say that they go full digital. Like my point, I was like, remember how you said you looked up on the internet, um, how much you get for, like trading your games in. Mm-hmm. 
Like, just say they cut that out versus, like... Well, go, that's their big business. I'm saying GameStop goes, is known for yeah, trade-ins. Like, like, literally, for going into the store and be like, how much am I getting for this game versus, like, going on the internet. If they cut that middleman out, then the company's... Well, like, not necessarily, right? So if, if, if GameStop goes into publishing, number one, they're ahead of the league in terms of publishers. Mm-hmm. Because when's the last time you walked into a Ubisoft store? When's the last time Good that point. you walked into... I walked into a Microsoft store. They're not that impressive. I walked into a, it looks a like, Nintendo store. It looks like store. a shitty Apple store. Yeah, but those are people that provide consoles and make hardware. That's not just a publisher. We're talking about just a publisher having a storefront. They've already got the infrastructure for storefronts for their games that they're... Working. I've walked into Ubisoft Montreal, thank you very much. Shut up. <laughs> I've been in a Nintendo store. Does that mean I'm in fucking Nintendo of America? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. We have to go to the new but, store when it opens up. But as, as a publisher, if they if they decide to play this role as a publisher, they already have an infrastructure where they can distribute all of their stuff Yep. without a problem. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know how that would play out. I mean, if, if there's no uh, hard disk media, then would GameStop become a place where you play, like, arcade-style cool. gaming, like classic mm-hmm. arcade-style where you rent time? To play a GameStop game that was published by GameStop. That could be an idea. That could be interesting. Yeah. Huh. Very interesting. I think I think that's pretty I was going to say, lastly, on the thought of like going non-optical disc, it's number one reason why I like the Wii U. Because sometimes you just hear that little jingle when specials come up, new games come out, mm-hmm. and it pops on the screen. I like that because I go on my PlayStation, and sometimes in the top bar it says new games for sale, on sale, whatever. There are times when it's been like 3 o'clock in the morning and it's here, donate, donate. I'm like, ooh. Eh, I'll check that later. <laughs> but I like that. Just as a little props to Nintendo right there. New specials come out, 30% off winter sale going on right now. Can't control it. Not Superman right there? No. Well, I don't know yeah, if Superman's gotcha. ever had hiccups. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, come on. Neither am I. Uh-oh. You want me to take this? No, I'm going to try it out. All right? Let's see, let's see if I can get through it. If you didn't know, this is the greatest video games game cast in Mushroom Kingdom. I'll be on in every past, present, and future Let's location of the Assassin's Creed series. We are three friends who talk about video games every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we honor you with... Friday. You fucking host on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> And we honor you with Let's Plays every Tuesday and Thursday. And by we, I mean Pete and Jeremy. (laughs) We bring you the biggest news in gaming in our one-up news series. And again, by we, I mean Pete and Jeremy. (laughs) And from time to time, special live streams. And again, I mean Pete and Jeremy. (laughs) If that sounds good to you, because it sure sounds good to me, because all I do is just make the shows work. (laughs) Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And share our beautiful faces. Beautiful faces! your beautiful friends. Now... On to the topic at hand. Akuma! The Division. The Division. Is it going to be overrated? Is it going to be... Is it going to perform under par? Have we been waiting too long? Is it worth the wait? May I take this one first? After you, sir. I rarely take it first. You really... Well, you can take it as many times as you want to. Hello. In whatever order you want to. (laughs) My name is Peter Peter Anderson. Anderson. (laughs) Let me tell you something about The Division. Okay, uh, coming off of... Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> yes. Rainbow Six Siege. Yes. Still going strong. I'm on fire tonight. I still got my core. And the discussion came up the other day about the division. See, it all makes sense. It all full circle. Full circle. Full circle. It came up about the division. And we were talking about if we're getting it. Are we going to go from Rainbow Six and go over to the division? Yeah. That, you smoky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, it was unanimously yes, and they said, "When is it coming out?" And I said, "And they said March 6th. And I said, "No." And he, they said, "What do you mean, Pete?" I said, "No." They said, no. "What do you mean, Christmas?" Yeah, <laughs> Chris, Christmas charisma. Um, they said, "What do you mean?" I said, "This game has been delayed many times, and the beta is just coming out now." If you're saying the beta is coming out in Early February, you're saying a month to fix everything. I say no way. they're gonna have at least two weeks to a month delay. But this is what I mean. Like, what? Well, well, didn't, didn't wasn't the gap between the beta and the release of Destiny the same time gap? It, yeah. was, a, it was a relatively a month. But yeah, look at right. look at it this way. You're right. 
Bungie and Activision, they are known for multiplayer games. So they were testing to see. So launch day, there wasn't really any problems with Destiny. And everybody was playing it, you know. Rainbow Six Siege, there were problems the first day. And that is not equal to what Destiny is. So to have something where it's the Division, which yes, is hyped about. But if all these people go on, how is it not going to crash? give problems? Ubisoft is not known for their online. It's Activision. It's the people behind Call of Duty who have it perfect, you know. You have that hiccup for the first hour of the release for Call of Duty, and is, then... This is a Ubisoft title? Yes. It's a Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy, the division. Yeah, uh, like, you're saying... Uh, this like, this completely changed the landscape yeah. for me, then. The thing is, yeah. like, you're saying, people, <laughs> that first hiccup, dude, that could fucking yep. kill... Whoa. That could kill interest. It wouldn't people. hit it, but it's also something where they're finally getting Siege to work after playing it for a month. Siege? But, yeah... They're, it's finally coming Ow. together because there was problems with matchmaking and everything. The division looks great and promising, and I'm excited. And I was excited when they showed it off at E3 2013. I was excited. You were making you. I keep talking about this, but 2015, the thing comes up to the division, and you're sitting there at your desk banging the thing. Give me a beta date. Give me beta. Yeah. And I was excited, and then it's like, oh, it's coming out this year. Nope, we're gonna get delayed till next year. And it's something where. You were fine something like Uncharted. I know you guys are not overrated. And yes, we didn't do it Uncharted, but you know how we feel about that. Um, you know, Uncharted got delayed. But Uncharted's the last game with the Nathan Drake like character, from what it sounds like. You know, so they're going to polish it. And Naughty Dog has this precision that they do, you know. Ubisoft in these Tom Clancy games, they're good, you know. The Splinter Cells, the Rainbow Six, the, you know, Wildlands that's coming out, the Rogue... And for the vision to come out, which is completely different, you know, and a great idea. I just hope it delivers. I think that it lost its momentum. I, it was, I think, overrated and people were excited. But now that it keeps getting delayed and March 6th, it's like, uh. And especially to, with Wednesday's episode of Street Fighter Five, you're going to have the people who's playing Street Fighter Five. You're going to have people who's playing Far Cry Primal because Far Cry... Far Cry Primal comes out the 26th or 28th. I'm not sure which is the Tuesday. The Tuesday would be... Quick, hold on. La, 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 the, 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 the 23rd. That doesn't sound right, but okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound 20, right. 23rd? That doesn't yeah. sound right, but okay. Somewhere around the tw- 23rd or 20... I could have sworn it was 26th. But, um, you know, you have these games. So the division coming in with having a beta wait, and not everybody's going to play the beta, whoever pre orders their game. But, you know, I had it pre-ordered, but after the delays and delays, delays, I said, you know what, I'm going to put it on something like Rainbow Six, where it got Rainbow Six got delayed for three months, but they came out by the end of the year. And were there still a couple problems with it? Yes. But are they fixing it? Of course. But, you know, it takes people away from that. You know, Call of Duty is a, a solid piece. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see how the division does with all these delays and everything. I'm so, just going to say before Nick goes go ahead. Evil Ryu. So, <laughs> oh, God damn it. So, you're saying the beta comes out in February, you said? It's coming out the 27th to the 29th on Xbox and the 28th to the 30th <coughs> on PlayStation 4. In February, right? No, in, in January. In January, and then it's going to... And then it's supposed I have to have the... The twenty eight days in October uh, in February and then have like six days, that for March. That, wait, but you also have to, so wait, wait, no, they so have to finish, freaking. They have to do all these things before the game is actually released. The pre production on it, you know, to get it to the distributors. So you tell me the betas the beta's out for this game already. That's what I'm trying to understand. Yes, yes. The beta Sorry, should be live. So beta's out, and you tell me we have, you tell me you have a month, a month and a half, maybe before the game comes out yes. itself. No fucking way. It's that's what that's what that's what Destiny did. Destiny had about a month gap between the beta and the release of the game. We'll see, but like literally, when when Destiny. But it also out, had an alpha. It had a beta. It yeah, the, the, that's what a beta is. A beta is after an alpha. Yeah, yeah no, but no, no, there was no alpha is, on the division. Alphas aren't released to the public. Yeah, but I played the alpha of Destiny. Yeah, that's what because I'm you were a selected few that got to. Alphas are an in- <laughs> alphas are an internal thing mostly. I know the I'm betas just are for people outside of it to see how the network works in the real world. Yeah. That's what they're testing. I they're know, not changing saying. the guns. Like like you guys have this mentality that betas are to be there to fix the game. They're not. No, they're, they're there to, to fix test. the networking. Yeah, yeah to that's see what, what it, it can handle. Now with my it. issue with Ubisoft is every game that they've ever done that involves networking, 
sucks. Yeah, it does. It cracks Assassin's up. Creed. Um, <laughs> what was that? Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Uh, the, the, what, what's the other one? The one that, that everybody was hyped for. Uh, uh, uh Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Oh, Watch Dogs was terrible. Watch Dogs was terrible. Holy shit. Um, the crew was terrible. Everything that they do when it comes to networking is terrible. Now, they're trying to take it to the next par by doing Destiny better than Destiny did, right? You have an open world mm-hmm. map that you go into with your fire team and you can go in and out of fire teams without a problem, no loading screens, no no issues like that. You've got a fully representative world. Uh, they, I think they knocked back the, the resolution. Be, oh. they, they knocked back the resolution yeah. uh, a bit and they and they kicked out Brooklyn. Which so, could be DLC. Ah, oh, come on. Theoretically. That's theoretically, it'll well, be if DLC. They, if they have it there, you know they're going to be using it for something. Yeah. It's going to be DLC. They might. There's, 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 there's plenty of places in Destiny that they didn't use. And you can you can travel to all those places that, that, that Bungie never used. Alright. But here's so. what I was trying to get. So when Destiny came out with a month gap later, it was a good game. It was fun to play. Whatever oh, it yeah. It was, it, was, it was decent. It was fun. Um, there were little quirky things that I was just like, I don't like having to get kicked back into orbit whenever I join a fire team. Yeah, no, no. Especially it's just, if they're right next to What I'm trying to get to at is, if the Division does that, like say a month, month and a half, the game comes out, is the game going to be the next big thing or is it going to be another stinky dog turd I just well, walked on? I think I don't worry that if they're gonna do a month one half and they don't polish the game and everything else, that game's gonna crash. They don't need to polish the game. That's not what a beta's for. Beta's uh, no. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to say. I'm just trying to say. Like I'm worried. From what I've seen, like the trailers, I've seen what this game is about. It's been in development for like what three years almost. I'm worried that if either the beta doesn't show them what they want, they're gonna either throw it back in development again, and it's gonna end up getting Duke Nukem Nukemed. No. Which that sucks. No. I'm exaggerating. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So. But if they don't do that and they decide to go forward with the game, is it going to like be what everybody wants or is it just going to crash? That's the this, problem. That's this game the, has the to come out this networking. It has to. It, it's all about networking. It's all about the network. They have to have the right infrastructure in place in order to, 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 to get all these people to log on to their servers and play this game. If that doesn't work, then the game will fail miserably. That's they can't have servers that are shut down, and I can't download my fucking car for five months because you guys didn't get your fucking networking in, in place. And that's the point of a beta. Now, you release a beta, you better be working on it for that entire month, day and night, to make sure that you get that release date, number one. Number two, that you work out the networking issues that your company is infamous for. Look at Battlefront. They put out the beta for that, and this I couldn't get on for the first hour because there's so many people. Yep. I played it that weekend, finally, and then like, oh, you like that beta so much? We're going to extend it, and then we're going to throw another one out there. So they, they have take to... A, take a note from fucking, what is it, EA you put out? Yep, EA did. Take a note from EA, and you'll be soft. So the, that what they need to, to focus on is making sure that their networking is up to par. Yep. If their networking is not up to par, then they will not have a successful launch because that's going to interrupt the gameplay. This is a fully immersive uh, cloud world, let's say. Let's, let's mm-hmm. call it a cloud universe. You know, where, where... You could say it's a Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a fully immersive cloud environment where, where <laughs> you're joining parties and you're grouping together in real time without being kicked out of the, the server. Now, if you're getting kicked out of the server whenever you join a party and the system is broken for networking, then it's going to take away from the game. And you cannot take away from that experience because the whole premise of your game is that experience. And that that's all it is. There's there's no there's no there there might be a one player option where you can go ahead and tackle missions and have a main campaign mm-hmm. and you can quest alongside buddies like a MMO like a like a mm-hmm. this would be the first true first person shooter MMO. Destiny was kind of a first person shooter MMO and they did a lot of good things. But the division might be a very uh very true first person MMO. And in order for that to work right. <laughs> They need to make sure that they have all the tools in place for the network to sustain that kind of traffic. Final thoughts on it. Do you want to go first? No, I was saying Nick, like, boom, drop the mic right there. <laughs> My final thoughts on this, um, Cammy. Um, but here's what I think with Division also. It has to come out in March. Yeah. If they push it off, the game is going to die. It is the perfect Dude, time no when gum. they have, you know, Far Cry and everything. They have Quantum Break Uncharted. 
People are going to want to have a massively multiplayer online game, and this could serve. But if it, if it gets delayed by months, you ha run the risk of having something come in and take it out. And this, I think, if done right, the beta and checking in and everything, Division could be a powerhouse. However, if not taken care of the right way, it will burn. Well, supposedly we're getting No Man's Sky sometime soon. Mm -hmm. If the Division isn't able to compete with that, then we're screwed. Exactly. But you know us. You love us. Some Check us us. out on www.youtube.com slash improv gaming. Check us out on Twitch at improv cot, improv cap, and IPG Jaybird. Check us out on Twitter on prof cot, that's at improv Pete. And this is Jimmy Poison 450. Jimmy Poison 450. Uh, and also check out our PlayStation 4 community of improv gaming. Mm -hmm. And don't forget this Sunday for Super Bowl, the 7th. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the 16-man tournament. WWE 2K16. A couple of the boys from the Scholars of Wrestling and a couple of our buddies are going to be playing. It's going to be a good time. And Super Bowl. We're doing the Super Bowl prediction the day before. The day what before that Super one? Bowl. That will probably go up around 11.30. That's when I tend to put up the videos. Okay. Let's play this cool. Game. About oh. 11.30. Noon. noon. It will be up by noon. Let's play. We're going to predict... The Super Bowl 50. Super Bowl 50, and I'm going to have Dan never play me again in <laughs> I think Dan's going to beat you. No, no, absolutely not. Thank you for joining us, and as always, ladies and gentlemen... Sharukin! Right? Yeah? Huh? Badukin is energy I know, fireball. I Shuriken is rising dragon fist. Learn the difference.